how's everybody doing? Good to be here. I just flew in from Tor or to Toronto. Um, my arms are very tired. Because <laughs> I was masturbating on the plane. <laughs> it was in the bathroom. Okay. Um, uh, the future. So right into the topic. What is the future? Where do we go from here? You may ask me, Eric, where's my future lie? And I don't know. I don't know where my future lies for me. I think we're all swimming around in a fishbowl of uncertainty, and I think, uh, just don't ask me for answers right now. I'm trying to do a comedy show. Like, <laughs> you're like distracting me. I, this isn't a TED talk. Like, is this a TED talk? I don't think so. No, okay. So we're good. Okay, so jokes. It's a comedy show. Um, what? Uh, BuzzFeed, BuzzFeed, that's a good website, right? <laughs> Give a hand for who likes BuzzFeed. Yeah. Good news, oh, yeah. lots of good stuff on there. I think in the future, uh, there's gonna be a BuzzFeed type website for new mothers, and I think it's gonna be called Breastfeed. <laughs> uh, the, I think in the future, uh, Vice News is gonna branch out. I think they're gonna go for a different uh, demographics. Still gonna keep their vice division, but they're gonna do a new division. It's gonna be for G audiences. Uh, no swearing, no drugs, no sex. Uh, be uh, for, for kids, you know, nice news by vice news. <laughs> In the future, I believe there will be a dating app for lumberjacks where they can swipe left or right, and that app will be called Timber! Hey, <laughs> <laughs> right, so uh, as the last two comedians blatantly put it, like that's in a really depressing way, is uh, <laughs> the future is is harsh and it's a harsh place. Um, oh yeah, let's be honest. Like those of us in in third year, we're graduating right now. We don't really know what's going to happen. Second year, you're gonna be in the same position next year. You're gonna have all these things flying at you, unions, you know, uh, uh, internships, all sorts of stuff. You got the DGC coming at you. You got NABET trying to scoop you up. You got IATSE. Like, <laughs> I'm all, like, I, I play Yahtzee on Friday nights. I don't have time for, I can't think about all this. It's too much for me. I, the future's scary. It's just scary. Uh, but I would like to break into the film industry, I think. We all, in the film uh, department, we all really want success, we want to get there. Um, mainly I want to get there just so I could be rich and famous, so I could have something named after me. Because I think it'd be really funny to have a plaque or a statue or something, and, and then, uh, you know, in the year 3012, some kid, some drunk teenager, you know, he's half alien, whatever, he's, uh, he's going on a rampage with his friends and he's taking a big whiz, and he, looks up and he sees a name, my name, Eric McKenzie, in memoriam, or whatever, and he takes a big piss on it. Fuck Eric McKenzie, the fucking dick. That's just how I want. I mean, they're really, they really fucking cool. That's how you know you made your mark on the world. Some asshole pisses on you a thousand years later. Um, I think, uh, well, my friend from the future told me that, uh, Sarah Borg, is she here? She, no, she said she was coming. Anyway, it doesn't matter. She gave me approval to tell her story from the future. So, Sarah Borg, she rescues a maternity ward full of babies from a fire. And it was like a clerical error. All the doctors were on holiday. It was a Christmas morning. And there was no one in the maternity ward. A fire broke out, and Sarah Borg rescued so many babies from a dangerous fire. So she became our national hero. She, things became, started being named after her, you know, dedicated uh, in commemoration. So I have a list of some of these things. It's a top secret list in the future. Uh, no longer will you say Gorgonzola cheese, you'll say Borgonzola cheese. Uh, uh, sh you won't be an organ donor, you'll be a Borgon donor. Uh, 
No, when you start implanting technologies in your body, you're no longer a cyborg or cereborg. <laughs> you're not gonna boycott stuff. If you don't like it, you're gonna boycott it. And if you wanna be involved in a big sex party, it's gonna be uh, a borgy. <laughs> So, moving on to my finale, uh, Dan, can you just give me a quick hand, please? Uh, I have two. This is, a, this is a sneak peek at what I think comedy is going to evolve to in the future. Uh, I think people are going to get bored of the regular routine, you know, guy talks, people laugh. I think it's going to be a lot more innovative, and this is my interpretation of the future. Uh, interpretive dance, spoken word, spoken word poetry, jazz salsa, uh, the new stand-up of the future.